What's up guys, it's you and welcome back to episode number 5 this week of Push Rank 500 in the RU tier. And in today's episode, we are starting at the rank of 1331, I believe, if I am if I read it right. Where's RU? 1331. And in order to reach top 500 on the RU ladder, we, are, we need to get to 1374, so that's kind of cool. You may hear my dog walking around in the background, so this is really Push Rank 500 feet dog. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab I'm gonna go ahead and grab a sticky web match real quick because we are using the same sticky web team and uh, we got a battle pretty quickly versus Gun Hera. Um, pretty interesting team so far. The thing that I see with rocks on his team is Dreadgon. I'm just gonna lead Cricketune though. If he leads this, I'm in trouble. Um, actually, I do have Tyrantrum. He ends up leading Chinchino though, which is super annoying because it means I probably can't get up my webs uh, turn one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go ahead into Tyrantrum and uh, dodge a Rock Blast, which is cool. And I'm gonna go ahead and get up my rocks this turn because it pun like it, it doesn't really hurt anything a lot on his team. But taking an additional 12% on top of Sticky Web is really really nice for my team. As I take a sip of Coke. Uh, so we'll see what this Chinchino does. I'm assuming it's going to be Banded Chinchino. It could be Life Orb. It could be King's Rock. Hopefully it is not King's Rock because that's really annoying. Ends up going out into Electros though. Um, I'm not really sure what Electros is going to do. I'm just going to go ahead and go for a Stone Edge right here because it is Stab. I do have, have a pretty solid attack stat and it does 60% so I'll take it. Ends up going for the knockoff, getting rid of my Lumberry. But assuming I land the second Stone Edge, which I do, um, I take an early 5-6 lead which is cool. I just got to figure out what I can get webs up against because I don't want that Durant to just run rampant all over my team because that'd be pretty frustrating. Um, especially if it gets a Hone Claws up, then I'm in trouble. Ends up going out into Durant right here though. I'm just going to go ahead and hit him with an Earthquake. An Earthquake. And uh, hopefully do some damage as he just knocks me out with an Iron Head, which is cool. At this point, I'm just going to go and uh, not outspeed that thing. That's why I need my webs, people. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and crick a tune. And uh, if it wants to try to set up in my face, that's cool. I almost just clicked on a tab to go to Smogon real quick, and I didn't really want to do that. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead... <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and set up my webs and not get flinched right here. Okay. Well, uh, that's a good game because I can't do anything unless you miss. But, of course, you're absolutely spot on. You could be Swarm. But, man, that stinks. Um, so I lose this battle pretty much unless by some mere... Okay, wow, that does that's hustle. Um, so, like, I needed a miss somewhere along the line, and I just never got one, which is really unfortunate, as you end up doubling out into M board to sack it, which is fine. And I just missed my Hydro, so it's no big deal. I'm just getting absolutely annihilated. Um, okay, I missed both of my Hydros and get poisoned by the Poison Jab. I need help. Please, just let, let me land a move. Are you serious? <laughs> Like, is this a legit thing that's happening in this universe? There we go. Oh my lord. That was that was bad. That was really bad. Um We'll see what he decides to go out and do here, but at this point it really doesn't matter unless he's not running speed on Drapion, which every Drapion runs run speed. So this is really frustrating. Um, I'm kind of considering uh, moving to Oras OU next week, just because Oras OU seems pretty fun. And uh, I'm going to get a burn right here, because I'm calling it. Burn? Please give me revenge hacks. Okay, or not. Or not. <laughs> And I get poisoned and go down to the poison, so that's pretty rad. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, hit him with the Sucker Punch right here. Uh, knock him out, but it doesn't really matter. Actually, I could win if I crit everything. Ends up going out into Durant. Give me a crit. Give me a crit. Crit, 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 crit. Miss. 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 No. Okay, yes, he missed. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. Um, I need a crit on Drapion. Dredagon, not Drapion. Um, crit. Give me the crit. Give me the crit. Miss. Don't. Oh god, I'm getting destroyed by an outrage. Okay, so that's a game. That's not That's not even a good game, to be honest. Like, I'd say good game if it was a good game, but it really wasn't. Uh, I'm just waiting to see what my rank is. Um, it really would have helped to fire off another Hydro Pump versus something on his team. Um, but you know, I missed three in a row. What do you, like, I can't really do anything about it. So... I've been seriously considering moving to Oras OU next week. Just because that does seem pretty fun. It's a change of pace, and I'm getting really bored with RU, to be honest. Um, like, I know I can get there in RU. I've done it before. 
It's a matter of not getting absolutely... Okay, we're just going to jump to another battle while we wait. It's a matter of not getting absolutely annihilated by hacks and whatnot. Um, but this guy has a pretty cool team featuring two Oras Megas. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and lead Cricketune and hopefully get my webs up. Because um, I do really want to get my webs up this game. Unlike last game where he flinched me and I wasn't able to get my webs up. Because that's something that's really disappointing. Um... Let me see, what else can... Okay, think. Back to basics, what's your win condition? Uh, win condition is probably going to end up being Delphox, because Delphox blows a lot of holes in his team, especially if I can weaken the Steelix a little bit and break it sturdy. Ends up leading Glade. I'm just going to go ahead and Sticky Web, turn one, because I want to get my webs up. That's my top priority. Is you end up taunting, and I outspeed you, so that's pretty cool. Uh, this turn, I'm just going to go for the knockoff. And uh, get rid of your item, which ends up... Okay, uh, I completely forgot you had uh, Justified. So that kind of stinks. But you oh, you get outspeed, outsped by... Excuse me. Excuse me. You get outsped by Cricketoon, so that's okay. I can just kind of continue to do whatever. Uh, I'm going to go for the knockoff again. And I give you more Justified as you continue bulking up. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and... Knock off one more time because I do outspeed. So the moment he brings me down to his sash, or brings me down to my sash rather, I can just click Endeavor and um, do some cool stuff and bring him down to 1 HP and then take him out with the mock punch next turn. So that's going to be the course of action for me right now because, you know, I have my webs up. I'm ready to roll. Um, we'll see. Okay, he ends up switching. Oh, good play. Good play. Good player. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and knock off right here. Um, I'm assuming you're just gonna go for the Volt Switch. Okay, never mind. I outspeed you. You need to run speed on things, man. Um, and I end up taking you out with the... Or, he ends up taking me out with the Thunderbolt, rather. And right here, I know that 251 will outspeed him. So, I can go into hit, hit more Actually, no, I'm not gonna get... I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go into Shifty right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and Swords Dance in his face. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I think you have Bolt Switch, Shadow Ball. Actually, you know, you may have, you may have Willow, so I'm just going to go ahead. Okay, never mind, I'm going to Swords Dance. And you're going to Pain Split, which is okay, because I will take a plus two and lose a little bit of health. Because you're going to go out into Romatisse right here. Uh, Romatisse is going to take 48% from a knockoff, meaning it's going to go down to a Seed Bomb, which will be really nice for me to get Romatisse out of the way. It clears up Delphox uh, for a sweep. And I'm assuming we're going to see Steelix right here. So. And I'm just going to take another sip of my Coke right here. Because I am rather dehydrated at the moment. Ends up going out in a, into Dragalge, which is fine. Just going to click knock off. And Dragalge straight up dies. So, that's nice. Uh, we will see what he decides to go out into here. Although, I think he just loses the plus two shift three under webs. So... Um, ends up going out into Ludicolo, which is cool. Knockoff will technically have a higher base uh, base power, so I'm just going to go for that. <laughs> and it just knocks out Ludicolo. So, Shiftry is putting in a lot of work this match after... Shiftry was basically like, Hey, yo, I saw you got absolutely destroyed by hacks in the last battle. I can help you. And Shiftry is indeed coming through in this battle. Ends up going out into Steelix. I'm just going to go ahead and click Knockoff, because it gets rid of your item, which is really nice. <laughs> Does... 55% to a Steelix as he ends up taking me out with the Gyro Ball, but that's okay. I can go out into my Jellicent right here, and I think I win by clicking Water Spout twice, because I am Specs, as you guys know by now. This is the 10th episode we've done with this team. So we're going to go ahead and take him out right there. He ends up going out into Gallade, and I'm just going to go ahead and click Water Spout again. I don't end up knocking him out. And uh, I'm actually going to see... I'm just going to go for a Shadow Ball right here, because that will allow me to knock this Gallade out and end up going 1-1 one one, uh, for now. I've been recording for 9 minutes or whatever. I'm up to 13.36. You know what? Um, today's Friday. We're going to grab another match. Actually, it's Thursday, but this is going up on Friday. I actually don't have school today, which is really nice, so I can just sit around and do nothing. It just hit noon, so I've been completely unproductive. Woke up at about uh, 9.30 or whatever. Played a lot of Oras. Uh, haven't really eaten yet, so I should probably do that at some point. Um, but we end up facing the same guy. So, uh, let's not get hacked out this time. That's the goal. I'm going to lead Tyrantrum, and I'm expecting him to lead Chinchino. Um, so, we're going to turn the timer on, and we're not going to miss our Hydro Pumps this time. And we're not going to get flinched. And, uh, 
we're gonna win. Uh, ends up leading with Electros, which is cool. I'm just gonna go ahead and click Stone Edge, you know, hopefully I hit both of them. That's one, okay. Uh, we're making good progress. You end up revealing Drain Punch, which is bad. I didn't see that last match. I'm just gonna go ahead and get on my rocks. Um, and allow you to knock me out with the Drain Punch because what that allows me to do is go out into Cricketune and go ahead and get up my webs, which is really nice. I wasn't able to do that last match. And I know he's banded Dredagon, so that opens up a lot of room for Jellicent to put in a lot of work this match. So we'll have to see what ends up happening. Uh, we end up seeing Drain Punch right there. I'm just going to go straight away for the uh, knockoff to get rid of this thing's item. It's probably AV. Uh, end ends up being banded Electra, so that's kind of cool. And at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and click Endeavor once, and then click Endeavor again, and uh, just lower this thing's HP a lot. Ends up going for the knockoff, um, which, you know, I'm cool with. I was able to weaken him a lot, so that helps um, my sweeping conquests, as one would say. I'm going to go ahead and go into Shiftry, though, and I'm just going to click Knockoff. I know Shiftry does a lot of work versus this guy's team, um, because I can now go for the Knockoff as opposed to the Sucker Punch versus Durant. And, uh, but I, I'm kind of expecting to... Wait, is this Hexaband? This is Hexaband! Okay, so that makes a lot of sense. Um, Hexaband is actually really, really cool. Um, it's a playstyle that I'm fairly certain was popular popularized by the Canadian Wi-Fi. Um, a really cool guy. And, uh, yeah, this is Hexaband. <laughs> Hexaband OP says the man. And I'm just going to go out into my him only right here, and I'm going to go ahead and click high jump kick and not miss and knock out this Drapion. Does, does that sound good, him only? Does that sound good? Um, this guy's team is actually really cool. I like it a lot. Because <laughs> I usually run this kind of like garbage on the slot offense whenever I make my own teams to where it's like I'm going to run like five physical attackers and a thunderous. And <laughs> I, I do that, I, I, I end up doing that with a lot of my teams just because you know, you break through the outer shell of your opponent's defensive core, the hard outer shell, which is the, like, one physical wall. And then you annihilate them. So, uh, we'll see what he decides to go into here. I actually don't think anything lives a high jump kick. Maybe Embor. Ends up going into Durant, which is fine. That hits 348. Um, 348 times... Okay. Let me think. That's like minus 100. Something. Yeah, I'll let speed. I'm just going to hit him with a high jump kick. End up knocking him out, which is cool. I haven't missed so far, so I'm not getting hacked out. That's amazing. Um, we'll see what he ends up going out into next. But frankly, I think as long as I hit my high jump kicks, I win. Ends up going out into Dreadagon. Okay, him only. You haven't missed so far. You've been doing amazing. If you could just hit high jump kick three more times, that'd be awesome. We end up knocking him out right there, which is cool. And um, ends up going out into Embor. All right, you, you can do this, him only. Just hit, hit one more. I actually don't need you to hit two, just hit one more. Yes, okay. <laughs> so, last time I got kind of hacked out versus Gun Gunharia. Is that how you say your name? Gunharia. Uh, Life Orb. Um. <laughs> All right, so he ends up going at the Chinchito right here. I kind of want to go for the high jump kit. Yeah, I'm just going to go for it. Um, cause I think I win, actually no, I don't want to do anything stupid, although I'm probably going to end up going for the HJK anyway, uh, because that's how Showdown works sometimes, and it's pretty annoying. But you know, it's whatever. Kind of makes you think about your move before you click it, which is one thing I'm not very good at. And, uh, never mind, I end up going for the Mach Punch, which is cool, I end up just taking him out, so that's a good game. Uh, we are up to 1361, meaning we only need one more win. So we're actually going to go for it in this battle. Um, you know, if all goes well then uh, this will be the finale for Push Rank 500 in the RU tier. And I can just move on to Oras next week, which is cool. Um, we're only 15 minutes in, so this is going to be on the long side, definitely. But it's okay. I don't really mind it um, as long as we reach the uh, end goal for RU this week. So uh, I've taken like six sips of my Coke in this video, and I usually don't do that, but I'm going to do it again because Coke is love life in the American way. And uh, like uh, this RU Sticky Web team is not only sponsored by Coca-Cola, but also Denny's. Uh, I don't know. I'm just naming off corporations while waiting to find a match right here. But I guess I'll talk about Aura SOU for a little bit. Aura SOU has been a lot of fun so far. And I've really been enjoying playing it. Um, I'm right now. I'm like top 35, maybe. I, I was top 30 when I woke up this morning. And then I played like three matches and lost. So I'm actually going to check what I am on the ladder. 
as we find a match, you know what, I'll flex my ladder rating later. Um, this guy's usually a Mesprit, which is cool. I'm just going to lead Cricketune and get on my webs. Um, I do have a spin blocker that matches up kind of well versus Kabutops. Um, being, okay, uh, ends up leading Mesprit, which is cool. Don't flinch me with the uh, Zen headbutt, we're good. Um, this guy's team's actually at speed him. Ends up getting his rocks up, which is fine. I'm just going to go ahead and hit him with a knockoff and get rid of his item. I get a crit, which is nice. Uh, I get rid of your lumberry as you end up revealing HP fire. Um, I don't think I can knock you out with this next knockoff, so I'm going to go for the Endeavor. And, you know, if you switch, then I bring something else down at really low health. And uh, you end up switching into Kabutops, which is amazing. So Kabutops is about to be knocked out by a Krikatoon. And this is something you don't ever see. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to go out to Jellicent right here. And uh, you end up going for the Aqua Jet. I end up absorbing that, which is nice. And I can just go ahead and uh, click Water Spout right here, I think. Um... Actually, no, that's kind of a dumb move. I'm just going to click Shadow Ball and uh, get off damage on something that comes in. Hopefully, he doesn't go out in a shot tot. That's a thing that I'm kind of afraid of. But, it, okay, ends up going out into Amoongus. But if you really think I'm going to put it, oh, I end up going for the Water Spout, which is cool. And at this point, I'm going to go out into Tyrantrum. That looks physically defensive. Because that Actually, I'm just going to go and sack Krikatoon right here as you end up going for the Giga Drain, which is fine, because I can go out into Delphox, and I can just go ahead and click Flamethrower and do damage to something. I know your Mesprit is bulky Mesprit, because uh, my Krikatoon is able to outspeed it, so things are actually looking up in this uh, in this battle. I think I have a good shot at winning, as long... Like, Delphox is actually kind of important in this battle, because it takes out his double Grass Core and Kabutops. Um, oof. Ends up going out in a shot top. Shot Todd doesn't touch the ground, and I'm just going to go ahead and hit him, hit him with a flamethrower, actually. Um, and I think I can break through his double grass core with Ice Beam. You are Scarf Shot Todd! Are you serious? Are you actually serious? <sighs> I, I needed one more battle. That's all. That, I, I needed to win once. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and click Ice Fang right here. Hopefully I hit both of them. I wouldn't mind a freeze. At this point, I'm hoping for any and all hacks that I can get because it helps me win. And uh, you end up going for the Sludge Bomb. And uh, you poison me, but I have Lum. And uh, I'm, I don't know why you're not going for Spore right now. You're, you'll probably go for it right here, which is going to suck, but it's okay. Um, this Shot Tot's just going to be really annoying, though. Just all game. I think I can knock it out with the Sucker Punch after Rocks. So unless you're like Sub Scarf then it's whatever. He ends up sacking his Kabutops right here, which is a pretty good play. Probably get a, probably to get a free switch into the one and only Shotot. Um, Shotot is one of my least favorite Pokemon. I really don't like it because whenever I face it, it's just like, I'm a click chatter, and it does, and I lose. So I'm going to go out into Cresselia right here as you end up call mining up. Um, I... Cresselia, you hit like a wet paper towel because you really don't run any offensive investment, but I'm going to calc this anyway. Um, because I don't want to get blindsided. Um, my goal is to SD right here. I should probably be more vocal with that. Um, Shiftry. Are you Defog? Um, I'm not running Lonely. I'm running Adamant. Versus Cresselia. Are you Sub Uh Knock Off will do a lot. Moonblast at plus one. Special Attack. Is going to do a lot. And actually, if he gets the highest roll possible, can knock me out. Uh, how much does a plus two knockoff do? Uh, plus two. Knockoff will knock you out. So I'm going to go for the uh, SD right here. Um, if you sub, I think I lose. You end up going for the Moonblast, and I live! Yes! Okay, so I'm just going to click knockoff right here to knock out something on his team. Um, actually, he'd be really dumb to stay in right here. Um, I may have choked. Probably did. It's okay. In before reveal synthesis on Shiftry. Ends up going out in a shot tot to sack that thing. Hey, I'm fine with you sacking your shot tot. Uh, I'm gonna go out in a Jellicent at this point. Um, actually, actually, do I have to do that? Do I have to do that? Amoongus is at 59, Tangrowth is at full health. I'm just gonna go out into my. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna go out in a Jellicent right here. As you end up going out in the Tangrowth, I think I can knock you out with an Ice Beam. Um, I'm assuming you're. You're probably lefties. No, you're Assault Vest. Okay, so I got absolutely annihilated, and I ended up losing this match because I'm an absolute idiot. So, I'm just going to click High Jump Kick twice, and, you know, it happens. 
Um, I didn't really want to, well, okay, no duh, I didn't want to lose, but um, that actually did 38%. I'm just going to go for the knockoff right here and knock you out, maybe, please. Goes out into Tangrowth, hey, I'll take it. I can, if you want to shuffle around with your double grass regenerator core, that's fine, but you just lost your vest. I'm just going to click high jump kick again because I can uh, do good damage to things and after, I, because I, I don't think you can continually switch Amoongus in as long as I keep clicking uh, HDK and I keep hitting. Uh, because that does 40%, plus rocks is 52. Um, so I'm just going to click high jump kick again, and I think I can knock you out, uh, depending on rolls. Because last time I did 38, yeah, I can knock your Amoongus out. Uh, so that's kind of cool. So I basically got to hope for all the Stone Edge crits that have ever existed in this planet, on this planet in the universe to uh, win this game. I'm just going to go for the knockoff right here as you end up going for the psychic. Okay. Um, if I crit you with Stone Edge right here, I think I can win. Please. Tyrantrum, come through. Tyrantrum, come through. Tyrantrum, please. Come on. Knock it. No! No! <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah. That's a good game. I played poorly. Okay, you, you can just knock me out. I'm not going to win. Um, do you only have... Uh, no, you have Moonblast. Okay. So that's a good game. Um, we're down to 1332. That's tough. That sucks. Uh, may do a bonus episode tomorrow. Uh, but common question of the video is uh, actually make sure to leave a like if you guys are enjoying um, Push to Rank 500. You know, it's kind of whatever. But I, I'm all thrown off here because uh, I really thought I was going to reach top 500. But um, common question of the video do you guys want to see me move on to Oras OU next week? Um, I'm really interested to hear what your guys' responses to that are, because, uh, you know, I'm, if I do a bonus episode tomorrow and I don't make it, I'll probably be done with RU, and it's just a matter of what I'll move on to next, probably. Um, I don't think I'll stay in RU, but, uh, with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the costly content, and with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.